Welcome everybody to the end of this term's House Cup Assembly. What a term it's been. Uh, but we wanted to make this a really special last uh, House Cup Assembly for Mr Woodman, of course. And it's really nice for us to do this. We've got a, a, um, a whole bunch of students here trying to uh, replicate what we normally do, of course, uh, uh, under pre-COVID circumstances of actually having a proper assembly. So all of you uh, in your form rooms are watching this as live uh, um, on Friday morning. But uh, uh, we've got everyone here to, to make sure this is all ready and good to go. OK, so December the 18th, here we go. It's our Christmas assembly. It's our House Cup assembly for the autumn term. Well, what sort of things have you been involved with so far this term? Well, there's an awfully long list there, surprisingly, when you think about how difficult it's been. So we've had the uh, celebration of Christmas virtual concert. We've had our community Christmas message. We've done all that via social media. We've had our lockdown two challenge. So from uh, Mr. Setchell, having uh, uh, recovered from his brilliant success of lockdown one challenge, we've had lockdown two. Uh, a virtual music concert. We've had children in need. Uh, we've had our virtual reindeer run. I'm not quite sure whether the reindeer have been virtual or whether it's all just been recorded. Miss Burke will have to tell us. We've had various student leadership events in spite of it being very difficult. Uh, and our brilliant uh, open evenings for sixth form and for the new year sixes coming in. And, and many students and staff will have been involved in helping us to make all of that work. We've had an old socks day for charity. And we've also had just the one sporting event, the Key Stage 3 cross, uh, cross country. Fingers crossed that 2021 will bring us far more events than that that we can do live. Now, just a quick message on how the House Cup has changed for this year. You can now win House Cup points for all sorts of things. So and uh, it's very different from how it used to be. You can win them for being part of drama productions. You can win them for being part of Green Power Car, for being in different clubs. You can win them for uh, doing Hegarty maths. You can win them for eating healthily. Every time you buy a salad in the canteen, that counts towards the House Cup. Because what we've done is we've actually asked students, and there'll be many of you either sitting here with me in the hall now or sitting in your form rooms who have helped to come up with this new plan for our House Cup. And Mrs Tyrrell, uh, our, uh, our, one of our, our support staff, and Mr Fry have worked incredibly hard to bring all that together and make the data work so that we've got a really good and fair system of awarding the House Cup so that it's as broad as possible. We want to make sure that everyone can feel that they can contribute uh, no matter what they do. And so that's really key. We've listened to students and given some feedback on that. Now the key thing is as well, when it comes to attitude to learning, we take the negatives into account as well as the positives. That's true also for lateness um, and, uh, and I think also for behaviour points. So uh, again, that's feedback from students. Our student council said to us, we feel that it should be up and down. Um, so that's what we've done. And let's see how the results uh, work out for us as we go through the, award of the, the awarding of the House Cup this term. So let's start with the first one as usual. We always do library books to begin with. Here we go. Six houses in the correct order. In sixth place, Da Vinci House. In fifth is Seacole. Fourth, Attenborough. Third, Mercury. Top two then, Thompson in the second place. And Blackman are leading the way at the moment for the House Cup, but there's lots and lots more categories to go. So Blackman winning there for library books. Well done to Blackman. Uh, big round of applause. Thank you. Excellent. Brilliant. OK, we move on then to our character award. And this is from the house points that you've got that have been collected for character. So here we go. Sixth this time is Blackman. So from uh, first to last. Then fifth, Seacole. Fourth, Mercury. Third, Thompson. Top two this time. We've got Attenborough in second place and Da Vinci in first. So again, very different. Well done, Da Vinci. OK, now it wouldn't be a whole school assembly if we didn't throw in a couple of challenges now and again. And given that it's Mr Woodman's last chance to do these sorts of assemblies, we've got a couple of challenges for him. I'm going to hand over to Mr Cat and Mr Healy now, who are going to uh, uh, run this first challenge for Mr Woodman. And I think we need some volunteers to help as well, don't we, gentlemen? Okay. Yes? OK, over to you. That's good. Morning, all. Here we are. We've got some lovely lemon. Just have a little smell of that, Mr Woodman. Oh, great. Lovely. <laughs> and we've seen I'm a celebrity get me out of it. Mr Woodman here loved the bugs. So we thought we'd have a new challenge for this assembly. 
Oh, my head teacher, get me out of here. But it's high stakes. Mr. Woodman, you can't have excuses. Results or excuses, Mr. Cat? Well, the result is we're going to let you retire if you win these challenges. Okay. If not, I've agreed with Mr. Healy, you're in IX in January. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, over to Mr. Healy. Right, guys, so you're sitting there in your foreman's looking incredibly smart. Mr. Woodman normally looks fairly smart, but actually we need him to change. Take your tie off, please, sir. Right. Take your blazer off. It's very important, you must wear your blazer. Very important. You must wear it correctly. There's a blazer for you, sir. Special one for you, Luca. Look, blazer off. Yeah. <laughs> it's especially small, sir, to restrict my movement. Straight from student reception. To give my opponent. No, I can't. <laughs> you can, sir. You Come can. on, get that on. <laughs> uh, roll your sleeves down, please. I can't. <laughs> Oh. Right side. You look so <laughs> under your top button, so you might need to. Can't move. <laughs> well, they're going to get tough, sir. Right. Yeah. So very, very simple. What they've got out in year seven, sir. What they've got to do is go down five press ups. Well, I can't move. <laughs> You'll be fine, sir. Five press ups. Excuses. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to give them a little bit of energy. So you're going to suck all the juice out of half a lemon. Okay. I've got two, you've only got one. Yeah, I know, you're the head teacher. Three, two, one, go! Here we go. Suck it out, down, five press ups. Superb, well done. Very good, very good. Down you go, sir. Down you go, press up. Five. Super job. Very good, right. Very good. That was this stopping me there. <laughs> So we've got the idea, a bit of energy. Second lemon for you, sir. Go. Well, he hasn't got one. No, I know you're the head teacher. <laughs> Very good. And now we're going to go five sit ups, five sit ups. Go. Proper sit ups. <laughs> Watch those sleeves, Mr. Woodman, please. I can't, I can't bend. You can't bend. <laughs> That is that four. Oh. Oh. Well done. Big round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. Right, challenge number one complete. Super. Can I take my blazer off? No, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, let's move on then. We're on to the attendance award now. Now, attendance has been absolutely brilliant this term. In fact, West Sussex schools have nationally won an award for basically being the best in uh, the whole country. That is not because we are, we're just more resilient, I don't think. Maybe it is. But I think perhaps we are, are not a, we've just not been as unfortunate as other areas of the country who've been hit by COVID harder. So well done to all of you for coming in and being here when you've needed to be. But also well done to those of you that have had to isolate at home and carry on with your work from home, especially after a long lockdown. And I know that will have been hard for you. So well done, everybody. So this is just a very small part of our uh, normal presentation this year. So attendance awards, sixth place Blackman, fifth Attenborough, fourth Da Vinci, third Mercury, second is Thompson, first for this one is Seacole. Well done, Mrs Robbins and Seacole. And then the tutor group attendants who will be getting a prize after uh, Christmas, they are in fifth place, in joint fifth place, we've got two Seacole houses there, Mrs Graham and uh, Miss McCarthy there. Fourth place, it's Mercury uh, Bagley, uh, your tutor group there, well done, IBA. Mrs. Strolger in third place there, Mrs. Welch will be uh, looking after that tutor group in Mrs. Uh, Strolger's absence after Christmas. Mrs. Strolger goes off to have her baby. Uh, second place, Blackman, uh, Mr. Brown, only joined us in September. What a great job you're doing with your tutor group there with attendance, well done. And in first place, it's Da Vinci then, again, one of our new uh, members of staff. Miss Hill, really well done, that's a year 11 tutor group. D G H I. Very well done. Congratulations to them. <laughs> now I can uh, now be in a position to be able to uh, um, give out the sports cup for this. No, not that's no. It's the bigger one. It's the other one. It's the big one. Here we go. The sports cup for this term. And uh, we've had this report from Mr. Setchell in PE. Unfortunately, it's been very hard to do much in terms of sport and certainly competitive sport this term. Uh, we, as like I said, we hope to have more of that next term. But we have included two things. So we've got the cross country. In sixth place for cross country was Mercury. Fifth place was Blackman. Fourth, jo uh, sorry, uh, joint third there, Seacole and Attenborough together. So the top two, Da Vinci in second and Thompson in first place for the cross country. Well done. Well done to Thompson House. We'll include in that also for the Sports Cup, the Lockdown 2 Challenge, because many, many of you did a lot of hard work for this. 
So here we go. As a school, we travelled nearly 20,000 kilometres. That's the same distance as if we'd gone from the Weald to a lake in New Zealand. How crazy is that? What a brilliant, brilliant score there we've managed. Well done, everyone. So here we go. This is the lockdown challenge in sixth place, Mercury. In fifth place, Blackman. Fourth place, Attenborough. Third place, Seacole. Second then is Da Vinci and Thompson, a massive 6,434 <laughs> kilometres. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. But we do have a winning tutor group as well out of that. And that was in year seven, these guys are. Thompson House, Mrs. Phillips and Mr. Watts' tutor group. Congratulations to all of you. You are the ones that uh, really did bump up that, that, that Thompson score. Well done to TLPH. Big round of applause for them. Well done. <laughs> so here we are, our Sports Cup winners. Mr. Woodman, would you like to take it to award it one last time, please? Here we are. Mercury House in sixth place, Blackman in fifth, Attenborough in fourth, Seacole in third, Da Vinci in second place, and Thompson House in first for the Sports Cup. Well done, Thompson House. <laughs> Somebody from Thompson, come and collect the cup, please. And a three, two, one, you're going to raise up and the crowd will go wild. Ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> right, women, here, pay cup. <laughs> Take it back with you, girls. Well done. Fantastic. Okay, challenge number two now, please. Discreet. Discreet. We can't see it, we ignore it, but if we can see it, we do. Oh, oh, going in the way of the Whoops. What are you planning on going on in the toilet? Nowhere public, anyway. Uh, this might be the sort of shade you want to go for, it really suits you. I'm modelling it on a certain year 11 student that you've come I bet you've waited 12 years to do this, Mr. Healy, haven't you? Case, Casey years. Mauling has been waiting a long time. <laughs> <laughs> He's humiliated the head in his last two days. It looks like cross between David Dickerson and the Joker, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, hold on, we've just got the thing is, the sir. <laughs> the thing is, sir, because I do amateur dramatics, there years ago, oh I came into my tutor group and one of my tutees, because I hadn't taken it all up, one of my tutees said to me, Mr. Woodman, you are wearing makeup. And I had to say, you know what? You're right. <laughs> Because I hadn't taken it off from the show the night from the night before. We can actually do this because he's not our boss. In 24 hours time, he's not our boss anymore. So. <laughs> right, so we're now going to do fluffy bunnies or chubby bunnies. You might have seen this so channel. Just talk to me about the significance of doing that before <laughs> we do we're that. We're ready for retirement. Yeah, exactly. I see. And we haven't got the time, sir. You know. Okay. So, fluffy bunnies. What we're going to do now is Mr. Cat is going to give Mr. Woodman uh, a marshmallow. He's going to put it in his mouth and he's going to say fluffy bunny. You're not going to you're not going to eat it, sir. Okay. Now, this is hard for you because normally you go in sweet cakes, but it's eat it. So this is going to be pretty tough. <laughs> yeah. No, don't worry, sir. I'll, I'll let you take one, sir. Okay. Right. And then for the ladies as well, keep it in and say it, sir. Are we just do that. Fluffy bunny. Very good. Yeah, we've got eggs. Same again, sir. Don't eat it. Don't swallow it. Fluffy bunny. Fluffy bunny. Very good. Same again. Don't eat it, sir. Don't chew. Don't chew. Are you cheating? Louis Lott says you're cheating. Oh. <laughs> Fluffy bunny. Louis, can you just come up and check, please? He should have four in his mouth. Come and check. Fluffy bunny. Fluffy bunny. <laughs> Take two, sir. You're doing very well. Oh, oh you're right, sir. Oh. Yeah. Fluffy bunny. Oh. Good? Roll. <laughs> say it, sir. Say it. <laughs> God, you'll manage another one. Go on, stick it in. We might need to get someone from the medical room down here in a minute. I'm choking. Yeah. Go on, sir. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six left. Go on, take another one. <laughs> and another one. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't quite hear that. <laughs> I think a round of applause, guys. <laughs> right, OK, thank you. Let's carry on. So we've now we move on to the form room gratitude competition. So we did this last year as well. We've carried on. And what we've done is um, a way of doing some Christmas decorations in our form rooms by um, using gratitude slips and either making um, paper chains, as you can see there, and writing a message of gratitude 
or using a, a, a cut out of a hand and writing messages on that and sticking them all together to make Christmas decorations. It's been really lovely to go around forms seeing people do that so beautifully. So the winning tutor groups are, well, year 11, they didn't really do it because they had exams. So actually, the, uh, the, uh, um, the, 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 uh, who, who went to go and judge? I think it was uh, Mrs. Mrs. Truss. Truss. Yeah, she did. So Mrs. Truss went to go and judge, and she decided that the science technicians should win that one because they were the <coughs> only ones, basically, that had any uh, uh, Christmas decorations in their uh, area. Uh, and they chose Blackman House. So, uh, Mr. Healy, you get some points there from the science technicians. Um, in fourth place, year 10, that was uh, for Attenborough. Well done, DSN. Year nine, that was Miss McCacken's uh, tutor group there in uh, Da Vinci. Year eight, that was uh, Da Vinci as well, Mr. Setchell's tutor group. Um, and right at the bottom there, year seven, Mrs. Strauder's tutor group in Attenborough House. So very, very well done to all of those. And you get points there for the gratitude section of the uh, House Cup. So the overall Sports and Culture Cup, as we've said already, has gone to uh, Da Vinci and uh, Thompson. So they, uh, they sort of, uh, we've got the, the sport and the culture slightly separately there. So well done to both of those houses. Well done Da Vinci for the culture part of the cup. Is Mrs. Mrs. Clark here? Oh, well, let's give her a big round of applause anyway, please. <laughs> well done. OK, charity contribution next then. You'll remember that we've had a couple of things so far this term. We had our normal children in need, and uh, my goodness me, our sick formers went to town. We had some brilliant, brilliant uh, outfits, which was just great. Um, we've also had um, some um, raising awareness for uh, anti-bullying. Uh, and again, that came from Thompson House, who did a brilliant assembly. The students did a great assembly on that uh, and raised awareness, and people wore odd socks and, uh, uh, to, to mark the day. So really good work there, everyone. Thank you. All that money obviously goes to great causes. All of that contributes to the well-being house points. So sixth place for well-being, Mercury House. Fifth place, Blackman. Fourth place, Seacole. Third place, Attenborough. Top two this time. We've got Da Vinci in second place. And Thompson again in first place for well-being. Well done to Thompson. <laughs> Self-awareness house points. Sixth place, Blackman. Fifth place, Mercury. Fourth place, Da Vinci. Third place, Attenborough. Top two then, number two goes to Thompson. And first place this time to Mrs. Robbins in Seacole. Well done, Seacole House. <laughs> so that's our four sections of our um, framework, our, our wheeled uh, character framework that we use, of course, that we've worked out for our House Cup. And so that's how you can see all the house points and everything, all the different events work towards those House Cup points. So here's our last one then on enthusiasm. Sixth place, Mercury. Fifth place, Blackman. Fourth place, Attenborough. Third place, Seacole. Top two. Second place, Thompson. First place, Da Vinci. Well done, Da Vinci. <laughs> so they win there for the most number of house points in enthusiasm. Well done, Da Vinci. Lastly then, Gratitude. Sixth place, Blackman. Fifth place, Da Vinci. Fourth place, Attenborough. Third, a Thompson. Top two, Mercury this time, second place. And top again, Mrs. Robbins, Seacole, well done, Seacole House, for gratitude. Okay, we will pause there just before we award the final two prizes, which are, will be our Shackleton Awards, of course, just coming up, and also uh, the final awarding of the House Cup. We've got one more challenge for Mr. Woodman, though. Last time, then, over to you, please, Mr. Cat and Mr. Healy. Okay, welcome back. We have another challenge. This is a triple challenge now. So we have uh, some more eating. So I know Mr. Woodman, are you happy about more eating? Love it. Chocolate. This is, some of you would have seen the after eight challenge. This is called the after 842 challenge. Why is it called the after 842? Answer to the ultimate question, 42. Because the gates close at 842. And if you're not in at that point, you know what happens. But of course, all of you are in your form rooms at the correct time. So it's very simple. Seen this challenge before, sir? No. Lads? Uh, nice. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's very, very simple. So, Mr. Woodman, it might not be as simple for you because you are maybe wearing too much makeup. So, what we're going to do. <laughs> he's is, got a bit he's got I've a never, bit more. No one's come. ever said that to me before, Mr. Healy. <laughs> okay, we, we can help him. We can help him because he might need something just to come steady, what we're going to do. This will just help you. Too, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm what I'm worried is Mr. Cat's never done this before. My <laughs> eyes can be glued. No. I had to read the instructions. Apply the glue to the lashes until tacky, yeah. then stick on. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
I don't know, sir. It's the first occasion. Guys, put your hands up if you know what Gorilla Glue is. Not sure how you're going to do it. <laughs> I couldn't see how many put their hands up there. Just as well he's retiring because he's not getting these. And we know he loves months. a week. <laughs> that is really <laughs> I've not had hair this long for a few years, Mr. Cat. Right, so what we might have to do is we might have to move the wig so it's back a little bit. Because what you're going to do, guys, we, we, take, we give you a chance. take your after eight out, you're going to place it on your forehead, you're going to lean back a little bit, and using your muscles in your face, you're going to get it into your mouth. Mr. Woman, you go first. Oh. Keep going. Oh! oh. 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 Seconds. I think that's a very good. Ten points and a win. <laughs> <laughs> Almost looked a bit like a pirate at that point, didn't it? <laughs> pirate? Yeah, very good. Okay, lads, 15 seconds. Count, please. So go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Next challenge. Next challenge. So you've got to eat the donut, everyone. Okay, but you're not allowed to touch it with your hands, and you're not allowed to lick your lips. Okay. And Bryn stepping up. He's very keen on this. He loves the donut. So we clear on the rules. On your marks. Get set. Go. Come on, Bryn. Come on, Bryn. Let's go, Bryn. Come on, Bryn. <laughs> Mr. Woman's hands are not behind his back, Mr. Cat. Does that matter? No, just no hands. He doesn't use them. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Well, should I be using them? Brin's regurgitating it for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not pretty. <laughs> 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 Do you not talk about the donut? Is this floor clean? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure the last time we cleaned this floor. <laughs> <laughs> the, floor the floor was cleaned at the end of break, guys. <laughs> this this section. Oh, that on there. <laughs> You've got oh, 20 seconds left. Yeah. 20 seconds. Oh, you're winning, oh, sir. You're winning. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Reminds me of a seagull at break time. <laughs> How many seagulls have wings? <laughs> <laughs> Not you, Bryn. <laughs> Back He's not been fed enough over the last couple Louis of days. Louis Love, up you come. Okay, well done, sir. Okay, Super job. Lovely. <laughs> Is Louis still going to do the eating challenge? But Mr. Woman's done the after eight, so we need something slightly different from Mr. Woodman. What is Mr. Woodman's favourite saying? <laughs> this, sir, is very tough. This is cinnamon. <laughs> Anyone seen the cinnamon challenge before? Yeah. yeah. I can hand it to Mr. Cat for this one. Front row, just move back a little bit more. Right, three, two, one, go. Another one, please, sir. I've never seen someone do it without less fuss. We'll have to do another one. There you go. Right, Mr. Cat, we've got to top up the scores quickly. Yeah. So what did we say? Who won the first challenge? Who won the first one, everyone? Leon. 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 Okay. Second one? Mr. Woodman. Mr. Woodman. That's, so that's one, one all. all. Third one? I think that uh, Corey won that one. Two one. one. Yeah. Two one. Donuts? Three. 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 three one. Three one. That one, you. We'll give him two for that one, okay? Yeah, so it's three yeah. all. Yeah. Round of applause, you still get your retirement. Round of applause for oh. So this brings us to the last part of our uh, House Cup assembly for autumn of 2020. Um, we have two final things to do. We, have to, we are going to award our Shackleton winners and we are going to award the, uh, the House Cup. So, as you will know by now, 
our Shackleton Award is presented to students who are who recognise courage or to recognise courage, teamwork, resilience or determination shown over an extended period of time at the Weald School. These are attributes that were demonstrated by Sir Ernest Shackleton as he led his crew in their Imperial Transatlantic Expedition from 1914 to 1917. This is an extra special award that uh, Mr Woodman introduced for us a couple of years ago uh, and our school motto at the same time, which is by endeavour we conquer. And that's something that we prize at the Weald more than anything else, which is hard work means everything. And just doing your best and overcoming challenges is what makes you a stronger person. So these two people that we're now going to award have done that over a period of time since they've been with us at the Weald. The first person is Sammy Sillett. Sammy is in year 11 and I've invited Mr Ascatino here to come and say a few words about him as to why he deserves to win this Shackleton Award. Yeah, uh, good morning everybody. Um, yeah, thank you for being here and thank you to Sammy's family also joining us this morning. Um, Sammy um, joined us uh, five years ago. Uh, uh, on the first day that he, he was here, I spent a lot of my time running around the school um, chasing after him, trying to get him into lessons and into rooms and probably not very successful. But over the course of the time that Sam has been here, he's really matured um, and really has worked hard uh, throughout the entire five years and um, through really um, being really dedicated on his work and being focused, um, he has made huge, huge progress. Um, Ms Edwards um, this morning spoke to you a little bit about the character framework that we have in the world and looking at that, Sammy has achieved and made a huge amount of progress in every single element of our character framework at, at the World Day. Um, and he has really become uh, a huge credit to the school, um, to all the students here, the staff here, and also our wider community. Um, he's done exceptionally well, and I'm really pleased to see that he's uh, receiving the Shackleton uh, Award today. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Sammy, did you Okay. Our other uh, Shackleton winner uh, this term has actually only been with us, not even a full year yet. Um, Marcy Walton in year 11 was nominated no less by three different members of staff. Um, and given that she'd only just started with us the week before the March lockdown, so really she's only had a term with us, this is really quite remarkable. Um, Marcy has uh, undergone some quite difficult challenges uh, in her life, um, but she has made absolutely the best of them. She's been a brilliant addition to our uh, Year 11 uh, with us here at the Weald, and she continues to work incredibly hard, overcoming her own challenges and just being an absolute, as Mr Woodman has just said about Sammy, a force for good. She quietly uh, goes about her business, impressing people wherever she goes. So really, really well done to Marcy. Please come and collect your certificate as well. Here we go, the overall termly cup, here it is. This is what's at stake now um, for this term. Here we go. Drum so, roll please, on your thighs. Great, here we go then. In sixth place, we have Blackman House. In fifth place, we have Mercury House. Fourth place is Da Vinci. Third place is Attenborough. Here we go, it's between the top two. Who's number two? We have Thompson House in second. It's Seacole House who have won this term's Termly Cup. Well done, well done, here we are. These are the two representatives from Seacole. Oh, he does. Come here and again, if you stand, this one that was in between you, and you grab one hand each, and then on count to three, we'll let it go, and you will hoist it up. Everyone here will go wild. Three, two, one. Yeah! There we are. That brings us to the end of this assembly. But like I say, what a very strange 2020 it's been as the year draws to a close. Thank you to every single member of our community for, for the contributions that you make in making this such a special place. But of course, thank you most of all from all of us to Mr Woodman, um, who leaves after 12 years. We know that the wheels never had it so good. So thank you very much, Mr Woodman. And I think one final round of applause has to go to him. Hi Pete, hi, 
I heard you're retiring come Christmas from your position as head teacher of the Weald. Well, your colleagues and the kids think well enough about you to get in touch with me to send you this message. They also said to me that you use When the Going Gets Tough as an inspirational song, an inspirational idea to inspire the kids to do the right things, I suppose is the best way to put it. I um, also heard that you, you go to places like Uganda and Kenya and you build schools, you build classes. It's really nice to know that you know there's people like you in the world that contribute to Africa as opposed to just taking out of Africa. You're actually giving things to Africa. Well, you know, from my point is is as a as a as a as a musician or as a public servant, which you are also a public servant because you're serving the public. I'm also a public servant, I'm serving the public. It's nice to know that um I could inspire people, you know, through my music. It's like you could inspire kids through what you can give to them. You know, you, what you're doing really is, is great because you sort of you you you're sort of shaping the future generation. They will remember you for that. You know, I still remember my my teacher. I remember Mr. Omega from when I was a three year old going to go you know going to primary school in Trinidad. These things, people like you, we never forget. But anyway, Pete. You know, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. When you retire, and they're going to miss you, and you know, as I said, there will be sad songs to make you cry. But you know, when you retire, it will give you a license to chill. But you know, Pete, enjoy your retirement. Here's to you. Thank you, Billy. He's the man. So, folks, if there's one thing you remember when I'm gone, when the going gets tough, you've got several choices. When the going gets tough, swear with them. When the going gets tough, run away. When the going gets tough, hit someone. Or what we really want you to do, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Make sure you remember it and make sure you live that. Cheerio. <laughs>